Hi, my name is Dash and I'm Platform Evangelist at StreamSense. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to preview a transformer pipeline. Now, why is preview important? Well, preview is important for two reasons. First is to debug a pipeline and two is to understand what kind of transformations are happening within the pipeline at each stage. Let's see how that's done. You can preview a pipeline by clicking on this button up here. Now in the bottom pane is where you're going to see all the data. There we go. Now it's important to understand that preview only happens on a sample or a subset of your entire data set. Let's step through and see what's going on. So we have two different input sources in this particular pipeline. Master data has three records. And our change data has four records. Now let's step through and see what's happening in this pipeline. This processor is designed to perform a slowly changing dimension operation on these seven records. And down below is where you can see what's going on with each record. As you can see, this record is a change data record. In this case, you can look at the metadata to understand what type of operation is being performed on this particular record. Similarly, down below, you can see some of these records will be passed through. And this indicates that this is coming from our master data. This processor is designed to sort our records. This operation is being performed on the sample size and not the entire data set. So if we look at all the records, we can see that customer ID 1 is at the top, 2, 2 again, 3, and so on. Repartition is basically going to create a single file when you actually run the pipeline. So not a whole lot to see in preview mode. And then finally, the data gets stored in our destination. Now let's look at another example. Now let's say there's a pipeline that one of your team members have designed. And in the pipeline, your team member has created a user-defined function in Scala. The function is basically assigning a grade based on the score. Now let's run the pipeline and step through to see what exactly is going on. And down below we can see the structure of the record. Each record has a score, student ID, and test ID. Let's step through. Because this is custom code, there's no transformation actually happening within this processor. But let's see how the data is transformed. Here you can see that the letter is being assigned to each student based on the score. And then finally, the data is stored. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.